and welcome back to The Overwhelmed Woman. I'm Emma and if money's tight I just thought I'd share my own thoughts on the whole gift giving thing because although it's a first world problem buying gifts for people has caused me quite a lot of stress over the years and also made me feel uncomfortable and a little bit obligated like I'm in a little bit of competition certainly the year my daughter started school and um, she got invited to lots of her friends birthday parties so I've found a few easy things that keep me grounded when I'm feeling a little bit guilty awkward or embarrassed about the fact that I can't always afford to buy gifts and the first thing is I remind myself that my family's financial stability and security has to come first and if that means not buying a gift for someone I love as much as I might love that person the gift will have to take a back seat. I also remind myself that buying gifts for people can actually create clutter for them so unless you're absolutely sure that it's something they want or need or have got space for by not buying a gift you might actually be doing your friends a favour and certainly in the wake of Covid if you say to someone that you love what do you want for your birthday I put money on it a lot of them will go I just want to see you and see my family and friends I don't need stuff so that kind of puts it into perspective when you don't buy gifts for people as well, you might actually be helping them out in other ways. So when we got married, for example, we told all of the people that we loved, we just wanted them there with us on our day. We didn't want presents, we just wanted them. But we found out afterwards that it actually really helped some of our friends who were financially struggling or who were just really busy people managing jobs and family commitments and um, all of that stuff. And it was just one less thing for them to have to worry about. Uh, but I guess the one thing where this really causes stress for us is when it comes to buying gifts for our children because we often feel under a lot of pressure to do that especially at Christmas and we can get into a lot of debt doing it so I'll do another little video about that at a later date but for now this is just about gift giving generally and um, I'm going to round it up by saying that the best way to look at this is friendship shouldn't be transactional so myself and my husband don't merit the depth of our friends or families or work colleagues connections uh, affection for us based on the amount of money they spend on us or what they buy or if they buy us a gift that's not what it's about and remembering all of that stuff keeps me grounded and I also remind myself that okay I might not be able to buy a gift for someone this year but you know what I contribute to their relationships in other ways whether that be offering to babysit for a friend or doing a little bit of free decluttering for a friend that's overwhelmed with work or just being on the end of a phone or giving someone a lift so if you are not able to buy gifts this year for whatever reason don't beat yourself up you don't have to justify the reasons why you're not buying to anyone and you don't have to feel guilty or awkward or embarrassed and when you change your thought process rather than feeling any of those feelings you just feel empowered and that you are in control of stuff rather than stuff being in control of you and you know what if things are tight now that might not always be the case and there might be times in the future where you can go crazy and uh, be really extravagant with the people that you love but anyway until next time I hope that's helped remember if you're overwhelmed you're not alone we're all overwhelmed together I would love for you to help this overwhelmed woman's channel get up and running by dropping a like in the video and subscribing and sharing and poking and everything else they do and um, because at the time of making this I've got 84 subscribers so by my calculations in about 20 years time YouTube might pay me about 12 pounds a month every cloud <laughs> but look until next time massive love as always remember we all deserve to lead a clutter-free life and now I'm going to go and get a cup of tea